and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and out of their testimony and they did not love their lives to death. My name is Lucy Mundo. Welcome to my testimony where we bring you stories of they that have been through they that have overcome and they that have come to share their stories with us uh, to give us an insight of just what is happening in our lives and just get out of what we are doing or where we are and head for the best. My guest today is, should I introduce you or <laughs> You, because there's just so yeah. much to your name and to you. Introduce so me, I hear. Okay. <laughs> My guest today is Peterson, aka or also known as Peterson Givenchy, mm. a minister of the gospel, Amen. a pastor, a worshiper, a songwriter, mm. a banker. Uh, I, I saw somewhere you also went to uh, law school. Yes. Tell us, that mm. is so much. Who, ap apart from all that, yeah. apart from everything that we know, hmm. who is Peterson Givenchy? Um, um, an ordinary man mm -hmm. that uh, God is doing extraordinary things with. Mm -hmm. um, I'm married mm -hmm. to one Caroline Moy. Together we have two children. Um, comma, not full stop. <laughs> Oh, wow, I hope she will watch this. <laughs> yeah. Comma, uh, we are hoping to get more. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we have a daughter who's six years old and um, a son who's four. Mm -hmm. um, Kariguni. Uh, to where I serve yeah. Karura Community Chapel. Yeah. Uh, this is where I serve. Mm -hmm. And we thank God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. How is the marriage life taking you? Marriage life, you poor, it has its up, ups and downs. Yeah. Um, the thing is to be friends with your person. Wow. So if someone is your friend, even when they are wrong, they are your friend. Mm -hmm. uh, and even when you are wrong, mm -hmm. you are their friend. Mm -hmm. And friends talk. Mm -hmm. you know, on a yeah. mm. What do you want to be remember, uh, remembered for? A prayerful man. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I was one day seated at um, Groove Awards and they were celebrating... Angela Chibalonza. Oh. And speaker after speaker after speaker mm -hmm. who came on stage, who knew Angela Chibalonza personally, were all saying one thing, that Angela Chibalonza was a prayerful person. Wow. When I die, I would like people to say that about me. Mm -hmm. That during my free time, I sought after the Lord. I was prayerful, mm -hmm. not in the sense that, um, not, not ili akujionyesha. Yeah. Matthew chapter 6 says, unajua jifiche, close your, your room. Mm -hmm. The Lord who hears in secret answers in public. Siezi taka wasewa jue, meaning prayerful, junajionyesha, but because the fruit of prayer is evident in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. So that's Amen. what, that's how I would like wow. to, to, to be remembered, I'd like them to write, here lies a prayerful yeah, man, man who affected his generation. Mm -hmm. mm. How do you want to affect your generation? I'd like to give my generation a mentality shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's what Jesus came to do. He said a leader is not one who has many servants. A leader is one who serves many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's opposite to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been taught if you have money, then you know the kingdom because mm -hmm. now you can travel to Jesus comes and says, no, 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 no. Seek ye first the kingdom, then all these other things will give, be given unto you. So it's a mentality shift. It is a paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. That's what I would like my generation to do, mm -hmm. to redefine words, mm -hmm. to redefine uh, success, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. uh, to redefine fame, to redefine mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. I'd like my generation to redefine all those words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm. To go to Hapoko service, mm -hmm. you are the service's pastor. Yes, I yeah, at Karuna. Yes, yes. Demystify that for us. What do you do? Services is like events organization. Mm -hmm. You are in charge of this person we call the congregant. From the time they come from the parking to the time they sit and they go through what we call sang worship. After sang worship, now they're leaving. Now they're interacting with other people. And then you engage them through the week. Mm -hmm. So it's all that. And they hear the word. So it's all that. It must be done 
within a certain within certain parameters of quality mm -hmm. of time mm -hmm. um, if you give me quality but then you give me too much then i won't appreciate it yeah. it must be within a certain time mm -hmm. and if you give me a very good timed uh, event mm -hmm. but then there was no quality mm -hmm. So then it has to be a balance. Mm -hmm. It has to be a balance. So that's what I do here at Karura. Mm -hmm. uh, I oversee the worship, I oversee uh, Asha's Vituka Maizo. What's the importance mm. of taking care mm -hmm. of that congregate, of that person who is coming to church from the time that one in Giyakwa gets yeah. up to the time that they leave? What's right. the importance of just having it right for that person? It's very important. It's very important. If you went to any big hotel in Kenya, mm -hmm. before you, before they even give you the food, you already love it. You already love the place. Yeah. The ambience, the way they call you sir, madam, boss, mm -hmm. the way they treat you, it's not, they are not rough with you. Yeah. Before the food comes, you already love the place. Yeah. And that's why you, the, they give you value, you give them value. Mm -hmm. Customer care, or congregant care is an aspect. Oh, that's a new one. Uh -huh. <laughs> is an aspect churches have not explored. So we think because we are called by God, it's our right that they will come. It is not. Mm -hmm. They have options. They can go to any church mm -hmm. and they will flourish. You see, when we take care of this person, the fact that Anakuja Kuskia God God's word doesn't mean mm -hmm. the parking boy Amongeleshe Vibaya. Yeah. You didn't even organize for parking for them. Mm -hmm. They come into the gate, there's no one to welcome them. Mm -hmm. Make them feel at home, make them feel uh, not comfortable, but welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let them feel up and yeah, we are wanted. Yeah. And once they sit, their hearts are free. They're not harboring bitterness someone smiled at them mm -hmm. now they can lift up their hands mm -hmm. and say jesus is lord it's mm -hmm. a beautiful time of worship mm -hmm. but when the swahili word is umekwazwa when umekwazwa kwa parking mm -hmm. umekwazwa kwa <laughs> gate watchman alikuangelesha vibaya i went to some place uh, they have good service mm -hmm. bad watchmen mm -hmm. yeah yeah it happens. so watchman aliongelesha vibaya yeah. anambia we yeah. I'm like, don't, don't shout at me. Mm -hmm. I'm here mm -hmm. to get good service. Mm -hmm. And what this thing you're doing is part of the service I will get. Mm -hmm. So I'm in charge of all that. I have to ask myself, what is the congregant experience when they come into the door and when they leave? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about serving the Lord. <laughs> serving the Lord is the most beautiful thing anyone can do with their lives mm -hmm. and with their time. Mm -hmm. Ministry is defined as an outflow of your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's not something um, you, in, you, you decide this, I'll do, then you invite God. No, no, no. It's because you have spent so much time with the Lord, He gives you an assignment. Mm -hmm. And I say, Ma, go there mm -hmm. and do one, two, three. That is ministry now. Mm -hmm. Because He's the one who sent you. Mm -hmm. His will is his, his, his bill. Mm -hmm. Divine appointment, divine provision. Mm -hmm. So kuna venye tu vitu zako zina move because mm -hmm. you're aligned. Mm -hmm. So serving the Lord is not is not serving self. Mm -hmm. It is not it's it's even higher than serving your country. Mm -hmm. A famous preacher was once very famous. He was asked why don't you vie for office? You're now very famous. Mm -hmm. And he answered, he said, I cannot stoop that low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because serving the Lord is the most beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, uh, politicians. Mm -hmm. If the Lord has told you to serve in that way, mm -hmm. it's fine. Mm -hmm. But if the Lord has given you a mandate to serve him, don't confuse the clubs. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, don't confuse the clubs mm -hmm. for votes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. How do you identify your area of calling or your ministry? When you have spent time with the Lord, mm -hmm. He will assign you. Mm -hmm. um, the more you spend time with Him, because men are planted, yeah. men are not thrown. Yeah. Mungu see the 
yani he can't take you and and akurushe to wherever you will land ah mm-hmm. uh-uh. yeah very 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 calculated purpose mm-hmm. anajua this one because you see mananasi na grow thika mm-hmm. eh yeah. ukipeleka mananasi nyeri tena i, I flourish yeah. 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 kahawa ukitoa tena nyeri upeleke garisa tena i flourish mm-hmm. Everything has its environment. Mm. Everything is planted. Mm-hmm. So once you spend time with God, utajua. Eh, utajua. Mm-hmm. This job I'm doing, I'm doing because of the salary, mm-hmm. but it is not my area of planting. Mm-hmm. Then you leave mm-hmm. and you go to a place where you earn 20% of what you're earning, but it is the place where you're planted mm-hmm. and you flourish. Yeah. 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 You flourish. Tell yeah. us your salvation journey. <laughs> Or your salvation story. Okay, mimi nimeokoka seven times <laughs> in total. <laughs> the last one was the most serious uh-huh. because I made the choice myself. Okay. My mom was a very good mom. I love her. And I'm I'm sure she's watching, watching the show. Mm-hmm. I totally love uh, that woman of God. My mom would beat you up and lead you to Christ. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ana kuchapa rudia nyuma yangu sema baba baba muko anacho mbeleza chapeleza nikizo and you kana kuombesha toba eh ana kuombesha toba eh so then you're now clean yeah you're disciplined in your spirit and in your body yeah so there are so many times when i got gave my life to jesus mm-hmm. even during exams i would get mm-hmm. born again to pass my exams yeah. class 8 i got mm-hmm. born again in all the crusades that they will show the movie of Jesus i got born again mm-hmm. because now hey hell in akaki to scary yeah. i don't want to go there yeah. so i give my life to jesus mm-hmm. but one day i was in form 2 um i was in a very good school you know stare boy center hapo mbele kidogo tu kuna shule inaitwa isli high school hapo ndio nilikuwa while i'm there A young man called Benja shared the gospel in a way I've never heard before. Mm-hmm. Jesus was not sold to me as someone who can get me my latest car, mm-hmm. the latest car or phone or land. Hell was not sold to me as something I should fear. The love for heaven should be more than the fear mm-hmm. for hell. Mm-hmm. And I had the gospel and one only me alone I stood. I was alone. Nobody walked with me. And I went. And many people said, "Like you were some total pastor. Huko umeokoka yote yote." I said, "No. All that time I was serving the God of my parents. This yeah. time allow me to serve my God, mm-hmm. the one I know." Mm-hmm. And I gave my life to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You you you're a pastor's kid. Yes, I am. PK. And you're a PK and PK literally grew up in church like even before you were born. Yeah. You were You went to church. Yeah. How do you find your identity? Ningumu. Ningumu and that's why many PKs watapotea. Mm-hmm. Many. Mm-hmm. They're looking for an identity for themselves. Mm-hmm. Because you see this God you serve, see what God is in God wa baba yako. Mhm. Kama baba yako ni bishop, kama baba yako ni pastor, si sasa wewe ni Mungu wake. Sasa wewe ujui you've not had your personal experience like Paul when you looked at Jesus even Gianni even Jesus was going to him um so then uh, like you're saying pale church kuna look lazima uweke if you're a lady it's even harder for you you mm-hmm. kuna look flani lazima uweke mm-hmm. wewe tena unaonekana tena ukiongea na vijana sana um kwa nyumba like you're saying you always with people so you struggle with identity mm-hmm. juu when ni nani Bible inaonge about the foolish builder and the wise builder. Mm-hmm. Wote walikuwa na building material, wote walikuwa na land, wote walikuwa na kila kitu the same. Mm-hmm. But the difference came when the storm came. Watu mm-hmm. wao pasi woka poa sana wakiwa church. Mm-hmm. Paka ile siku mtoto atatlo kwa environment apelekwe campus. Ndio eh ana realize kumbe kuna mm-hmm. kitu inaitwa dunda. Mm-hmm. Na ni mzuri sijaipewa. Mm-hmm. When the storms come you realize um toy kumbe msingi yake haikuwa nini yeah. my advice to pastors is get out of the stage go to the bedroom of these kids 
talk to them. Wacha um wacha wacha kumuongelesha kwa pulpit. Enda kwa life yake hivi muonge. Mm -hmm. Then stop instilling fear into these children that oh mtaenda hell mta ah uh ah -uh. Like I told you, what a, what a, the gospel is a gospel of love mm -hmm. more than of fear. Mm -hmm. The other thing is pastors must live a consistent life between the pulpit and home. You come to pulpit and preach love, and home you shout your mother. And you must see your kid to be see get. Mm -hmm. So it must be consistent. It must be you're a very diligent man on stage, mm -hmm. on the pulpit, and a very diligent man at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If that happens, children will learn to emulate their fathers mm -hmm. because Budak and him consistent. Mm -hmm. But sasa, many pastors on stage Anna preach poor, Anna Kapoa to Nam Penda on Pigama Kofi and Viva Poa. Home. He's a different person, Akona anger issues, and a shoutia watu na wita majina. Uh, those PKs will not survive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will not want your God mm -hmm. uh, because that will only fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But uh, PKs struggle with identity a lot, yeah, yeah. and something that also mean mm -hmm. I didn't want people to know I'm a PK, mm -hmm. so that is shules ko Um But uh, with time, God, and maybe we'll get time to talk about that, whether in this show or another one. Yeah. God introduced me mm -hmm. to himself mm -hmm. and said, I don't want you to serve the God of your father. Yeah. Mi nataka wewe. Tukwe na relationship na wewe. Ndi wata babako wakikuja backslide. Iyo sasa sini yake. Wewe, walk your walk with me. Yeah, that's what happened. Wow. Mm. So how did Peterson grow up? <laughs> I grew up in, a, in Isli. We call Isli uh, leafy suburbs. <laughs> Naizo lives in Mira. So it's in a leafy suburb. Yeah. That's why Naizo Mira is there. So and drugs is is available. Na sa iyo toke da isli sa i wana wana malls wana wana. Eish, yani indo place pizza na ligro z. It was it was different then. Elikuwa in what they call in Kiswahili kitongo jiduni. Ni uh, wase, the rooms are small. Ni ni ni. It's just uh, like any other ghetto, but say may change a lot mm -hmm. with the Somalis and all. Mm -hmm. So that's where I grew up. Um, ni kaenda shule ya Muslim, lakini si Muslimu, mm -hmm. lakini tuli imbasana tuahida mm -hmm. na na the imams. Yeah. We had young imams, wadogo na kuja. Tunaimba nao, nini, eh, Alantu ikaya, Alantu nidaya, Alantu nidaya, Izo zote. I even know the, the national anthem for Somalia. We sang all of those things. Wow. Yeah. And um, from there, ndo nikaingi high school, it's Lee High School. Mm -hmm. But growing up as a child, it was hard. Mm. It was hard. Mm -hmm. Poverty is not the lack of money. Poverty is not a package. Kuna mbaka accidents apondani. Kuna mikosi apondani. Kuna kuna jina yenyu kwa ribiwa apondani. Yani poverty is not ati mekatu mesota zi. You can be rich but broke. Auna dosa i cash flow ime. Imekatika. But wewe si pua. But you can have money and be poor. Mm -hmm. That's why kuna saying in some people are so poor, all they have is money. Yeah. Yani poverty yetu sasa ilikuwa na kuja na package. At some point I would be in the house, nini nini unafanya sijui nini unaingiza mguu kwa uji. Moto mm -hmm. inachomeka. At some point unatembea tu hivi mtaa unakanyanga ashes zinachoma zinachoma slippers zinachoma mpaka mguu yako. At some point, naenda kuwa shakibiriti ni chome a small, unajo, the way, kama ukona initwaji ile syndrome, ya kutaka kila kitu kwe in good order. OCD. Kama ukona OCD, uoneka string kame hang, si unakachoma, andi uka kuje level. I used to do that, nikichoma inashika, the whole curtain inashika moto. 
poverty comes with its own things. Ni wote ni wagonjwa. Mm-hmm. Wazazi ni wagonjwa, watoto ni wagonjwa. Me used to have a constant stomach problem that could not go away. Hata mm-hmm. amna doya kwenda hosi. Amjui ni nini? Amjui kama ni ulcers. Ama ni you don't know, but it just eats you up and eats you up. But when God changes people's stories, mm-hmm. he changes for good. Mm-hmm. One day when you you have time tell me to take you to my parents house you will be shocked whether this is the same person who they were so poor they couldn't afford blue band mm-hmm. yeah blue band God will change stories of us so mimi ni testimony kwamba and i love this show my mm-hmm. testimony kwamba if you're faithful if you're faith it can take long but stay faithful mm-hmm it will turn one day mm-hmm. but you see to generation yes i nataka kusikia yeah that atajenga nyumba yake akiwa 55 mm-hmm. 60 yeye anashindwa ai unataka kuniambia si mwaka hu mwaka watu wa coast wa sinini yeah eh yani ile patience pia ime imepotea but if you're patient with god allow him to finish his work in you mm-hmm. the process mm-hmm you will see and eat the good of the land. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So when you are going all this, well, your parents still pastors? Yeah. They were preaching Budangu Badon Street preacher. And I preach pale kwa section 3 market kwa nitwa hivyo. Wa mama mboga wanamchangia 5 shillings, 10 shillings, nini nini. What he gets that day is what we eat that day. So kama imefika 50 bob, nyama kwota was 35 bob then. Mm. Kama imefika 50 bob what nyama ugali mm. kama ijafika ugali sukuma mm. we lived by faith mm-hmm. what we make that day is what we eat mm-hmm. mm. it was as simple as that mm-hmm. B- yeah <laughs> and what um, what future did you anticipate there are two two kinds of motivation mm-hmm. kuna pull na kuna push mm-hmm. you either running away from something yeah. or running to something sasa mm-hmm. hii ya pull unaona ile life na unaona hiyo life ndio mimi nataka hii mm-hmm. ya push ni unaona mali umetoka and you don't want to go back there so you run i was running away from something i didn't want that kind of life for my children mm-hmm. it's the kind of life where if you're sick we will buy you panadol na utapona tu. Does it matter? Ni nini umegonjeka? Ataka uko na a serious chronic condition. Panadol. Panadol ama tukuombe. Uh-huh. Mungu atakuponya. Mhm. Uh-huh. I was running away. Yeah. From that kind of life. Mm-hmm. It is bad. I can't remember a term I stayed in school the whole term. Mm. Siezi kuambia. Ati hivi nimekati tumefungua tumefunga ah aje mm-hmm. lazima tu niko kwa list ya watu kufukuzwa shule mm-hmm. and um, even though that's the kind of life that molded me into the person i am today it can be avoided mm-hmm. it can be avoided and there are other ways people can grow mm-hmm. other than uh, is my, mm-hmm. my stories yeah. yeah when you look back mm-hmm. What did that teach you? First it taught me patience because my father never gave up on God, mm. never. He was patient with God and he never manipulated congregants mm. into giving, into seed planting. Sijui nini, tunulieni pastor gari, tufanyeni, never did all those things. Mm. He stayed faithful to the call until the lord remembered him now he's living a comfortable life eh ili nifunza patience ili nifunza prayer ili nifunza trusting in the lord ili nifunza faith the just shall live by faith so ili nifunza hizo vitu zote but eventually in life ili nifunza it is possible for god to totally transform the lives of people who have submitted to him mm-hmm. yeah. tell us something that you know about god 
growing up first I didn't like God. Because who Mungu watoto wa Wahindi mtu anafanyia mwindi kazi aki at the end of the month kuna marupurupu mtu anafanyia kampuni kazi at the end of the month hiyo kampuni inamlipa sasa huu Mungu mwenye ajali ku baba yangu mimi siko nampenda sana mm. because we struggled and when i say struggle it's struggle on another level like i'm saying poverty na kujanga na package mko wagonjwa mm. e, mko kuna mambo mabu zinaendelea na nyinyi zenye they are not just lacking money it's mm-hmm. just a package that has hit you at once mm-hmm. and mikosi vitu mob me even at, a, at some point niligongwa na gari nika roll nika roll nika roll nika roll nika amka nika toroka hata sijui nilikuwa naenda wapi so you gari jai shikwa and it's it's it scratched my body so it came with so many things so so many things and um aran kikumbuka yani sees the kata i wouldn't wish that kind of life on anyone so i hated god i said he's not serious with his people one day i wrote a letter to god i said dear god why are you not serious with your people why are you not why would you allow your people to go through these things and god decided he will introduce himself to me not with wealth or with material gain no understanding that's why i'm telling mm. you when i die i would like to have changed the mentality of my generation their understanding of god their understanding of 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 um humanity their understanding of success mm. i would like my generation to know that god is not a sadist mm. he's not mm-hmm. he cares for people mm. but there are holes we have thrown ourselves into or muiba tumejipiers nayo and blamed god yeah. there are times when god has provided for a people and they have mismanaged that money mm. and eventually said god did not provide mm. we have blamed god for so many things even in insurance form utaona ama ukisoma insurance utaona vitu ambazo wanaita act of god hizo mm-hmm. ni earthquakes <laughs> mm-hmm. the floods mm-hmm. sijui nini nini hizo ni acts of god so we've identified god with so many bad things sasa hii wewe ukienda sasa hii by range rover sasa hii na uishirunda watu watasema ai ama ameingia devil worshiping yeah. why why mm. umeingia devil worshiping aje mm. we have identified devil worshiping the good things mm. and it's it's something that came subtly into our community and god with struggle mm. yeah mtu wa mungu ni mtu ameparara mtu ame mm. amechapa mm-hmm. huo ni mtu wa mungu yeah. aku faithful mm-hmm. na kama ana do well ai kuna kasoro mm-hmm. a story is told of a man who was walking and he met a tree he he saw this tree and said i wish this tree had fruit and fruit appeared mm-hmm. and he said I wish if if fruiting iko imeiva ikaiva mhm mhm yaka kula akasema i wish ni shibe ni lale akashiba kalala venye aliamka akasema ai mbona kila kitu na wish ni 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 wrong mm. i mean ni, ni na wish inakuja it has to be too good like this is too good yeah. Mm. akasema na je sasa hii na nikianza kuumwa na tumbo akaanza kuumwa na tumbo <laughs> yeah. aina hii tumbo ikizidi ikazidi aina hii tumbo ikinifanya hata siezi amka akuweza amka haya yeah, yeah. sasa hizi hiki ni huwa akafa mm. we think if it's going too well there's a problem mm. there's a problem somewhere and it's how we were set in our minds those are things nakwambia i'd like to sort with my generation 
my generation even if you look around people are not happy mm. watu wako happy mm. watava fiti watapiga makeup watakuja huku job watafanya kazi mm -hmm. when they go back home they cry mm. and when you have sat down with them you realize this is not a happy person mm. if they are not complaining about Ruto they are complaining about Raila yeah. if they are not complaining about those two they are complaining about Uhuru mm. if it's not government it's another bishop who's usually fanya nini mm. Ukikaa hivi na mtu kwa matatu mnaenda anakuambia sawa na huyu huyu anafanya nini ni huyu anafanya nini mm. ah watu wa nduvi wame anazusha yeah, anazusha yeah. anaspew uh, venom <laughs> and i'd like people to be happy wow i'd like people to to appreciate what god has done for them mm -hmm. to come to a place like this and just keep quiet mm -hmm. and breathe the air and say Thank you Jesus. Mm -hmm. So God has introduced himself in me like that. Mm -hmm. Like a friend. He doesn't have to give me a car to be God. Yeah. I have reached a place Mali sasa Shadrach Meshach and Abednego walifika wakasema oh God is able to deliver us from the fire. Mm -hmm. But if even if he does not we will still not bow down. Mm -hmm. That's friendship. Yeah. That's friendship. You don't cheat You don't remain faithful to your wife because you've never met more beautiful ladies. No. Mm -hmm. You remain because you made a choice to be with this person in life. Mm -hmm. With God it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Once we've started the journey, I would really want this kind of car and this kind of life, mm -hmm. but his sovereignty is not connected to those. Mm -hmm. Yeni God. Hata kesho ni kifa, yeni God. Yeah. Yeni God. Mm -hmm. So you look to generation yango you understand. Mm -hmm. Utasikia statements kama wewe ni Mungu basi fanya. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uona takayaji prove. Yeah. <laughs> yeah ni God. Mm -hmm. I had an artist say kama Mungu atanipatia gari na kaa hivi na hivi na hivi sitamserve. Basi usimserve. Mm -hmm. Do yeah, he's not about that. Yeah, because now you're serving him for what he's for, giving for something. Eh. Hey. Hey. But he's God, he's sovereign. Yeye yeah, ni Mungu na ukilantuku sav na kunyenyekea ndani yake unakuwa kitu tunaita fully convinced servant mm -hmm. ushakuwa convinced mm -hmm. eh. ukiwa nayo yeye ni Mungu ukikosa mm -hmm. yeye ni Mungu ukiwa kwa shibe yeye ni Mungu ukiwa kwa njaa yeye ni Mungu ukiwa size nyingine usiki vizuri mwili yeye ni Mungu ukiwa uko healthy yeye ni Mungu yeye ni Mungu kila wakati not because of something mm -hmm. but he is god yeah. Eh. So mimi kazi yangu ni kujisubmit kwake. Eh. Hizi vitu zingine sasa zinafuata. Eh. There was a time you were the biggest artist or right. minister. Yeah. Tell me is it artist or minister? It's both. It's really both. It's art that ministers. Mm -hmm. eh. You had the biggest song. Right. You were writing songs which were blessing people. Right. Tell us about that season in your life. It was a, a funny season. It has <laughs> it <laughs> on both extremes. Mm -hmm. Good season publicly, bad season privately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked bad days, very bad days, very good days. Um because publicly I was pits on Mikingivi stadium moto anapiga nduru privately I was struggling mm -hmm. and I was crying and there was such a darkness in me and I was craving for light this god I sang about I did not know and the songs were doing well what yeah the songs were doing well yeah. but I hadn't had a personal walk with the lord in the private kuna msisa yana tusikiza they are uh, they are small men with big responsibilities mm -hmm. i guarantee failure yeah small men with big responsibilities i guarantee failure big men with big responsibilities i guarantee success mm -hmm. big men in the private with small responsibilities discouragement mm -hmm. yeah because you feel i can do better than this But if your private life is anchored on God, yani wewe mwenyewe ni mtu wa maombi. Spirit man wako ni mbigi. Hakuna kitu itawahi kuangusha, not money, not women, 
not fame, not achievement, not success, nothing. Mm. But that was a season when I was experiencing big responsibilities, but I was a small man. Mm. Yeah. Sin awareness. So vitundogondogo zikikam zina kuangusha. So it was a season when we were filling stadiums, but inside we were empty. Mm. Uh, so home, it was the end poor. Ukona do, do yuko, you wanted money, money is there. A lot of it, mm. in excess. It's not, looking back, it's not a lot, but then it was a lot mm. because I was a young man, no responsibilities, mm. na hidoni mob. Um, without a vision, people perish. Yeah. Money is a servant, it needs a JD. Mm -hmm. So you do equal a JD, so in a car mob. Yeah. So <laughs> many things happened, many things. Um, but the Lord finally said, uh, This is not what I called you for. What an insightful conversation that uh, we are having here. I have learned so much. I think I just need to go and sit down first and just think about what I've had. I hope that you're learning something too. I hope that you're really, really learning. I'm with Pitson tonight and this is my testimony on JCC TV. We are going to be right back.